Consulting.com and tell them Yorva sent you. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorva, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through YorbaMedia.com. All right, I'm joined on the show right now with Ronnie Adams, president and CEO of Medical Alarm Concepts Holding. MDHI is the symbol on this company. Ronnie, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Michael, thank you for having me. All right, my pleasure. You've got a, a, a great history behind you in uh, taking concepts and moving them forward into profitable ventures. Let me back up just a little bit and give you a chance to tell the audience uh, some of the success stories you've had to your name, and then let's get into what you're doing with Medical Alarm Concepts. Okay, well, um, Medical Alarm Concepts right now is uh, we have a product called the Medipendent, which is a personal emergency alarm that's used to summon help in the event of an emergency at home. And while it's primarily a device for older people, there also is a market for those who are physically disabled as well as persons living alone. The Medipendent has significant feature and function advantages over other personal medical alarms in the marketplace such as the ability to speak and listen directly through the pendant, patented voice prompts to let the user know that the, that the call went through, water resistance, and much more. Well, Ronnie, what I was trying to get from you first is because, look, you have been the recipient of a prestigious Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 96, sponsored by the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, and Ernst & Young. I mean, you've got some leadership skills here that you bring to the table on this company. What, what, what caused you to get from, from working where you were as a CFO and a director of these other companies into to taking on medical alarm concepts? It must have had something that really, really brought you into it. Well, it's interesting. I uh, I actually wasn't planning on, on speaking about that, but um, what happened was I was at a show and we saw we saw a a device mm -hmm. that um, I looked at it and I said, you know what? I bet you we can make this into a monitored product for for elderly people. And when somebody pushes the button, you can speak right through this device. To a monitoring center, and they can decide whether we can, whether we can um, disperse help, or dispatch help, or to call a loved one. And it took a couple of years to actually develop the product um, and to come out with uh, the prototype and beta testing. Mm -hmm. When we first came out with the product, we had some issues. The, the battery life wasn't as good as it was supposed to be, and we had to send all the pieces back to the factory and it delayed us probably for about a year until we figured out what the problem was at that point in time we had lost all the customer base that we had picked up and we had to start back again um, eventually we brought it out uh, instead of going through dealers we brought it out directly to the users um, and one of the biggest spots that we stopped at was costco where it is now uh, handled and that's really made a, a huge difference in the company and the credibility of the product. No, I'll say no. Sorry. Now, now let's get back into the company because uh, you've taken a concept, you had to redesign it and fix a few of the things. You lost your entire customer base, and then you found a way to to go out to the market and get these customers coming back to you. How, let, let's drill down into the actual because you said you push a button, you talk through it, and people can make a decision of who they need to talk to versus just a general help send. I can't get up right. That's correct. Well, let me, t let me talk about the products now that we, yeah. we are selling and, and manufacturing, actually, and selling um, at the company. And the first product that I was talking about was the Medipendent, okay. which is a device used to summon people or help at, in the event of an emergency. It's the type of product that you, that's used inside a house and around the house. And so it's got a 600-foot range, and it works off the telephone system. In, in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, it has significant advantages over other alarms in the marketplace because you have the ability to speak and listen directly through the pendant. When you push the button, it has voice prompts, so it lets you know that the call went through, um, if the battery is low, if, if there's any sort of issue. You can even, we can even um, patch in a loved one to speak to you, to, to calm things down, 
while help is on the way. That's breakthrough, isn't it? That that definitely is, and it was it was a, a huge um, step forward for the company. Now, recently, we've announced the launch of a new advanced medical alarm device called the iHelp. That's a revolutionary mobile medical alert system. Uh, it's designed to be used uh, at home, but also away from home. Uh, it's easy to use. It's lightweight yet durable and has significant advanced features not available on other mobile medical devices. So does it work like in conjunction with your cell phone, or does it have its own signal to, to connect? It is to... its own unit. Okay. It works with, with a separate SIM card that we provide for the unit. Um, and we've, we've invested time, manpower, and money into the development and launch of this product in September of the past year, we signed an agreement for a three hundred thousand dollar line of credit, which enabled us to launch the iHelp and to build the infrastructure, which has also enabled us to buy and track airtime that we use on these SIM cards from AT and T and T Mobile for the cellular operation of this unit. It's almost like owning a phone company. The iHelp features and functions include an advanced GPS system the ability to remotely locate a loved one, patented voice prompts, just like the Medipendent, mm -hmm. and a dealer portal that enables dealers to manage their own iHelp customer base. So a significant amount of time was spent on the back-end systems, including this dealer portal. iHelp dealers have significant benefits. Most importantly, the ease in ordering product, activating and deactivating customers, tracking customer usage, creating and printing reports to assist in billing and collecting revenues, and it's a whole turnkey program that offers dealers the opportunity to provide their customers with the latest products without having to change their back end. Wow. We've, al we've already had a tremendous amount of in interest in the iHelp. We are now, we've launched it, we're selling it to the uh, two dealers, mm -hmm. and we anticipate that it will help increase revenue substantially, and we're talking between two and three times existing revenues and enable it to show continued growth both in both in the revenues, gross margins, and cash flow. Let's talk about that. Let's drill down into that because I want to know more about the growth potential here in this market and the size of the market and where you guys are in that. Well, you know, we're only we're we're just a small player in this in this whole uh, industry. Mm -hmm. But but what we are trying to do now is is jump start the business and get from where we are to the future of this product. So I'll talk about that a little bit later, but um, we feel real comfortable that the iHelp is going to help us at least get a, a nice portion of the mobile medical alert business right now, and we'll refer to it more, of a, more as a GPS type of unit. So um, one, of the, one of the real interesting features that it has is Let's just say little Johnny wants to know where Grandma is. He's he called her, can't find her, he's worried about her. Mm -hmm. He can actually text on his smartphone some, some codes, and he can actually get the exact street location where Grandma is. Grandma doesn't even have to know that Johnny's looking for her. So this is a huge thing, because these medical alert systems are mainly for the loved ones, as opposed to the people using it. It's the loved ones that want to feel comfortable that when, when their parents or grandparents are away or not with them, that everything is okay. When they can't get a hold of them, they want to know where they are so that they can feel comfortable and go about their own lives. Exactly. And, and some people who are, let's say, 80 or more, are, and you're, you're trying to keep track of them, they're not really up to speed on, on texting or getting back and forth with a, with a normal cell phone. This helps that. I get it. That's correct. And this is a, the, the nice thing about this is it's a one-button operation. If you need help, all it is, push one button. Okay, so what, what people don't realize is that in the event of an emergency, um, you can't actually take your cell phone, open it up, or if it's a smartphone, clear exactly. everything and find the app where you can call for help. These, these mobile units are one-button operation. You need help, you just push the button. Wow. Okay, you're going to get connected to a monitoring center. They can patch in loved ones to you. They can dispatch help, and they will know exactly your, where you are, your exact 
GPS location. They're not going to guess at the location. They'll come up with the exact number and street. Wow. Wow. That's, that's fantastic. All right. Let's do this, Ronnie. We're going to go into a commercial break. But before we do, please give everybody contact information for your company. Okay. Well, the, the phone number here is uh, 877-639-2929. Uh, if they ever want to reach me, my extension is 113. The website is that we have two different websites, www.medipendent.com, that's M-E-D-I-P-E-N-D-A-N-T.com, and also www.ihelp, <clears throat> excuse me, ihelpalarm.com. All right, and the symbol M-D-H-I, right? That is correct. All right, we'll be right back on the other side of this break with Ronnie Adams, CEO, President. When we come back, we're going to talk about the past, the present, and the future of the medical alarm concepts. We'll be right back. This is Dr. James, CEO and founder of Diamond Physicians, a direct medicine practice that combines exemplary customer service, state-of-the-art medical technology, compassionate physicians, and 24-hour medical access to revitalize healthcare delivery in America. Diamond is searching for investors to join the solution for rising healthcare costs. We have reached a paradigm shift in the healthcare market. Now is the time to invest in Diamond, a brand that has gained national attention by delivering affordable concierge medicine. Visit diamondphysicians.com backslash franchise to learn more about franchise opportunities. Me, I started smoking when I was 13. I always thought when the time came, I could quit, no problem. Then at 28, I tried to go cold turkey, and I found out how hard it really was. I made it all day without a smoke. (laughs) Right until I met up with the guys. But I learned something that night. In fact, every time I tried to quit, there were more than a few, I learned a little more about what worked and what didn't work for me. And when I realized that I wasn't alone, that most people don't quit on their first or second attempt, I knew there was still hope. Today... I'm an ex-smoker. My only advice is to never, ever give up trying to quit. If you're trying to quit smoking, the American Lung Association is here to help every step of the way. Visit quitterinyou.org for tools, tips, and stories from smokers we've helped to finally quit for good. The American Lung Association. We support the quitter in you at quitterinyou.org. Every day, millions of Americans are putting themselves at risk just by writing a check using a credit card or an ATM. We're talking identity theft. And that's why the National Foundation for Credit Counseling has compiled a list of tips to help reduce the risk of having your personal information stolen. Never give out personal or account information when responding to a phone or email inquiry unless you initiated the transaction. Open your credit card and other bills promptly and reconcile your receipts and accounts. Just because your credit card is in your wallet, it doesn't mean you're not at risk. Skimming or stealing credit and debit card numbers is a huge part of identity theft. If you've been a victim or think your personal information has been compromised, you need to act immediately. The identity theft recovery process can be long and daunting, but you don't have to do it alone. Contact a certified counselor at the National Foundation for Credit Counseling at 1-800-388-2227, who can guide you every step of the way. This has been a public service message from the NFCC. Today, nearly half our nation's fighting forces are members of the Guard and Reserve. When they are called to active duty, they leave behind a family, a community, and a job. Employer support of the Guard and Reserve, a Department of Defense agency, honors and protects the bond between service members and their civilian employers. Whether serving our country or supporting those who do, we all serve. To learn more about ESGR, call 1-800-336-4590 or visit esgr.mil. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate, and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. That's 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 
and tell them Yorva sent you. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR, 1190 AM iHeartMedia Studios, worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, I'm joined on the show with Ronnie Adams, CEO, President, Medical Alarm Concepts Holding, symbol MDHI. And we have iHelpAM.com and Medipendent.com for the web addresses. All right, you've really uh, taken a, a, a real proactive a step in, in seeing the future visionary of how to really get past some of these problems that people are existing with, with, with this medical alarm system. Can you give us the, the concept, Ronnie, of you know the past, the present, of where we're going to go with this industry sector? Okay, well, in being pioneers in the medical alert business, we're now looking forward to creating new paths in our industry. The MPERS, or a mobile PERS space, is growing now. Mm-hmm. We feel we are introducing a product that's simple and yet cost-effective for its intended purposes. Within the next two months, we'll also be beta testing a new product that will be Bluetooth-enabled and that will enable us to track at a minimum, basic data of people's vital signs, including pulse, blood pressure, weight, etc., and then be in a position to report this data to relevant people, such as loved ones or even medical professionals. This data may end up going directly to health professionals to better monitor the health of those in need. We're not real sure yet, but it's a it's a uh, it's it's evolving. This is this. Is, this sounds to me like a global application. Are you? Do you have plans on? I mean, because obviously you're domestic now, you know. But are, are you planning on, on moving outside the borders of the United States with this? Well, these are definitely exciting times, and we plan on being part of the solution to enable people to live longer, healthier, and more productive lives. Okay. Right. Um, we basically feel that healthcare needs a better solution. One that will help keep costs from spiraling even more out of control than it is now. And with a smaller population getting ready to support the health care of a growing elderly population, we will be part of the change in health that will undoubtedly be part of our future. Now, we do have um, some international presence that we are working on right now. Mm -hmm. We are in negotiations with a potential international partner to provide an innovative PERS program overseas. We're very excited to buy this opportunity. We've been in in discussions with them for the last um, approximately three months and should know hopefully this week uh, going forward. It's a very aggressive um, program. I just don't want to... uh, uh, Yeah, don't say anything you're not supposed to. Yeah. Right, but wow. So we're very excited about that. There's other things going on also that, if you don't mind, I'd love to, you know, talk about. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bring it out. You know where we've come from yeah. and where we're going on this. So, when we started in 2008, we were financed with a, a considerable amount of, of toxic convertible debt. This type of financing, along with several other issues, prevented us from realizing the robust growth rate for the for that we had expected for the first few years of operation. Since then, considerable time, management time, and investor money has been utilized to turn our operation around. Seeing that we could create a profitable operation, we began to plan for the future. We rid ourselves of the convertible debt that was outstanding, and within the past 12 months have made a total of 16 um, Securities and Exchange Commission filings. We are now we are now current with our filings and a fully reporting publicly traded OTC company. And now we've also begun our search to acquire synergistic companies in an effort to expand our business in other areas of the healthcare related industry. We believe that by adding composite company acquisitions to our business plan in 2015, it will help us with our strategy to build a strong company with long term goals and enable us to increase our market share in what is really a vastly growing market. Now, about a year ago, Medical Alarm Concepts signed a three-year contract with APS Healthcare to provide per service to 
a pilot program. It's Medicare and Medi-Cal beneficiaries under the LA Care Health Plan. LA Care Health Care, LA Care Health, I'm sorry, is the nation's largest publicly operated health plan. It's a pilot program that we've been invited to participate in, and we were honored to be chosen. And we anticipate that this will be the first of other what are now known as ACOs, which are accountable care organizations, to provide better care and service to the elderly while reducing unnecessary and expensive emergency care services. Um, just I can recently, see. we have we we found out um, that our um, an an application that we had submitted to the Veterans Administration is now under review, and it looks like it's going to be approved within the next 30 to 60 days. Um, that is that will enable medical arm concepts to provide PERS units for hospitals under the Veterans Administration supervision. Wow, I was just going to go there with the hospitals. Yeah, wow. I mean, and it's that's a huge thing for us. Um, I guess that's about it. You, you've got a huge commitment to the shareholders with all of the work to get this company that you came into and then turn it around, get it straightened out. You lost all the customers, you brought them all back, and now you're taking them into the 22nd uh, century with these products that you're bringing out. Amazing stuff. Wow. Hey, so how can somebody get a demo on this, or how do they how do they get their hands on the product and and try it out and test it? How does that work? Well, I mean, uh, the the people that need it, they all they need to do is just go to our website and they can um, purchase either either through you know through one of our dealers. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. But if they want to just go to our websites, they can um, look at the products, and it's it's really you know even the websites are are really very modern very up-to-date um one more time with the web addresses for everybody yeah that's a medipendant.com and also i help alarm.com wow. okay medipendant.com and i help alarm.com right correct all right that sounds good and the symbol MDHI. All right. Are you going to be at any trade shows or anything of that nature where you can go out and uh, and people can come up and touch and feel and, and hold this thing? I'm not sure yet. We haven't, uh, you know, we're just really introducing the product. We're actually introducing it through monitoring centers right now mm-hmm. um, as opposed to being at a trade show. But um, uh, we're not leaving out the option of being part of a trade show. Uh, there's There's one coming up in April in Las Vegas that we still have to decide on. But we feel like the launch of the product is going to be successful even without being at the trade show. And so uh, we're, not, we're not sure yet if we're going to be there. Well, I mean, you just mentioned some huge, huge Goliaths in the industry sector that we're talking about. You mentioned the VA. You've got a inter- large, aggressive international uh, uh, potential partner that uh, is going to help you on a global scale with this. Right. I mean, that is a, a commendable on to, for you and your team for all the effort that you've taken. Because you said you had toxic deck. You got rid of it. You straightened out all the back end with a securities exchange. Commission, and now the commitment that you've made to the shareholders is, is you know, to be commended on you. I want to really thank you for for what a great. I mean, you're the epitome of what everybody tries to be with an, being an American entrepreneur. Thank you. We we feel real good about where we've been, what where we've come from, where we've been, and um, we feel uh, we feel you know very committed that uh, that this project and this company is going to be extremely successful. We have made a commitment to our shareholders that we could and would enhance the value of the stock. Um, we feel that by imp- implementing our business plan, of which is well on its way, we would show the marketplace that Medical Alarm Concepts is a company of integrity, commitment, and growth, and that the per share price will ultimately be a true reflection of that. Yeah. And we feel just on basic fundamentals, the, ba- the per share price should be at least I mean, I'm, I'm not. This is unofficial, but I'm going to say it's. It should be at least one dollar, okay? Especially from where it is right now. And going forward, what we're going to do is a better job in communicating with the investment community, just as we're doing right now, and show them the underlying value of medical alarm concepts. 
when you put these other pieces in place, I think that's just going to be a piece of dust in the in the rear view mirror. I agree. I just don't want to be too overboard. No, you can't. You can't. All right, we've got to go for now. I want to thank you so much, Ronnie, for coming on to the show. One last time, contact information for everybody. Uh, the websites are the best way to, to reach us, uh, www.medipendent.com or ihelpalarm.com. If you want to reach reach out to the company, it's eight seven seven six three nine two nine two nine. My extension is one one three. And Michael, I appreciate you having us on today. Thanks. My pleasure. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Ronnie Adams, uh, Medical Alarms Concepts, MDHI. On the other side of this break, we're going to come back with Keith Blakely, and he is the CEO of Encore Golf, new breakthrough technology if you are a golfer or ever think about being one. We'll be right back.